Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good uh, afternoon. Such a, a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. See behind me. So beautiful. And uh, I have this new gift. <laughs> I bought this new gift for myself. And uh, I will tell you this story. <laughs> So okay. good to see you. Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Such a beautiful, beautiful afternoon. I have finished one of the biggest undertake of my year in my job. So today, yesterday, I worked till very late. And today, I got uh, my freedom. I feel so lighted. So I decide to come out to see some new places. And uh, I remember I have been here uh, one time, but that time this place was closed. I got to know this is called a museum. And uh, then I checked online. Yes, there is a museum. New Almadan, Almadan. Um, mining museum so i visited the door was closed i was surprised i could push and open it was a quiet museum and it was open until four o'clock which is now and uh, there are two people inside one volunteer one person taking care in charge of this program and we spend maybe three hours time and the manager linda she explained me everything in great detail and showed me some of uh, uh, some of very precious things I am so impressed. Let's go inside. And behind it used to be um, a club, a swimming pool, and uh, and the party area. Oh, just to imagine the the old, far away glory of this place. Wow, how beautiful. Let's go inside. Okay, hello dear friends. Let's take a look at the inside of uh, the museum and uh, we go from the entrance this is uh, the manager's place to live the manager's uh, uh, the manager and their one two three four five six children you can see the picture and uh, here we come to the entrance that's me <laughs> here we come to the entrance you enter from here with some uh, uh, advertising and uh, explanation of this place but these are newly put in these are not <laughs> historical thing the historical thing you get enter come to the left and then this is the parlor or this is the resting area for the dignitaries the people investors and maybe some social light for the for the people to come here to have a party to have an entertainment to attend an evening here they need to take two hours buggy ride, the horse or a horse carriage ride, or from San Francisco, it takes five hours. So when they arrived here, it's dusty and dirty. 
So they take a rest, maybe change clothes, maybe wipe out some dust, have a cup of tea, some easy cookie, afternoon tea. This is for business and pleasure. And just relax a little bit. The decoration of this place is uh, oriental. Maybe there is something uh, not so oriental western. At least this is America. And I asked why there are so many ori oriental Chinese uh, decoration material. See, this one is very typical Chinese decoration material. Just by the way, this is refurbished. Nothing here is the original. They are refurbished according to the time, the period of time, the decoration style. Because taking an ocean ship from, from China to across Pacific is actually easier than from the East Coast because there was no trans, uh, transcontinental highway. There is no, um, there is not, not yet a railway established. So it's easier to get decoration material from China. And also uh, through uh, the explanation of of the volunteer, of the manager here, I know that they have done a lot of uh, uh, mining trade with China, the ore trade. The cinnabar was exported into China. And if you have been to China, the Forbidden City, the big temples, they are painted uh, red. Right? Those red are from the cinnabar of this place, or maybe from Spain, or maybe from China. Uh, but anyway, it uses cinnabar, and cinnabar is one of the biggest uh, main product of this mine, mining factory or mining enterprise. Here, what we are seeing is the office, the manager's office building, beautifully decorated. And uh, so he will sign some contract, some work employee relationship uh, um, agreement, this and that. And uh, at that time, the manager makes $2,000 per month, while the workers who goes down to the um, goes down to the the, 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 the mine that uh, go under the earth makes something like thirty dollar, which is um, you know, sixty times more of. Uh, 20,000 is around 60, 67, let's say 70 times more than the, the worker here. So this is uh, the office room of the manager. So mining, uh, dictionary, some personal collection, some beautiful pie. Uh, beautiful, um, beautiful pens, or maybe a button to call for a cup of coffee or coke, right? <laughs> okay, and here we come out, and uh, used to be three floors on top, going up, now it's office uh, for this museum, office uh, place for the museum, but used to be um, l l l uh, bedroom, eight bedrooms, 
or maybe something else. I do not know. This could be refurbished. Okay, so this looks like the living room of the family. And uh, this might be their evening entertainment. And the boys may play video game Clash of the Gold. Oh, Clash of the Gold. Oh, yeah, Clash of the Gold instead of the God. God. Yeah, they play games. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Maybe some card games, playing piano, and drink tea, entertain some friends. And this part will be uh, a reading part. And um, doll house. Maybe this is the girls' section. Totally six children. The six children play around and uh, make some voice heard. Beautiful oil painting. Good. Okay, so this is the living quarter. Look at that little doll. How pretty. And this is the living quarter. And um, managers live here so they they walk day and night <laughs> work from home okay now we get to the museum part that gentleman the tall gentleman was very helpful that's the mining processing part i'm not sure picture was taken sometime maybe in the late 1950s, maybe the early 60s. Mm -hmm. Just looking at the cars. cars. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So here are the there are two sites. One is called Spanish Camp. Another one is called English Village. And this one is the Spanish camp. It's the living area for the miners. And uh, also some mining, it's kind of a, a factory site with, uh, with living area and mining area. See the people live there. This looks very much Chinese Xiba. <laughs> Something interesting. This is the mining uh, Casa Grande. Casa Grande, big house, is this place. Used to be the manager's living area. And uh, when the mine was working well, they used Casa Grande as a site manager, S site manager's residence. So whoever is manager can live here. It's like a governor's house, right? And if they retire, if uh, they change a manager, will be another manager living here. And uh, this is the manager's house. And uh, in the 1950s, something this uh, uh, mining uh, declared bankrupt and then it became Almaden Club. It's uh, an entertainment club. Behind this there are two swimming pools. You can imagine restaurant, people coming here have fun. And uh, this one is another 
interesting is a Chinese pagoda, and it is said that this was given to New Amadan by the Emperor of China as a token for his appreciation for the colorful reception honoring the Chinese emissary during a visit to the mines in 1985. I do not know very much about it, but this is a gift from the emperor. And uh, uh, I, I will add in a, a small part of it. This, uh, this pavilion or this pagoda was uh, because of the age, because of the years, sometimes it was broken, and uh, there are people taking the wood and making it for other use, and uh, they were returned through southern lumber. Anyway, it's a complicated story. We can see they still have eight poles, eight columns in the, in the storage and they want to rebuild or refurbish it. They are under, according to the manager, they are under um, discussion about it and the volunteers are working uh, on it. Very interesting. Wow. Oh, wow. So these are the eight poles and a few more pieces, but yeah, it's they're in disrepair because um, so when the mine shut like down. This is in doctor's office. Yeah, when you have uh, so many people, oh, mercury chloride. Doctor. Poison medicine, poisonous medicine. These are doctors. This looks like a piano. Health care. And the workers here get a, a certain health care. And the health care is not uh, equal. It depending on what level of your your position you hold, how much money you make, or maybe how much you pay anyway. They do provide house care, uh, uh, health care, but uh, a differ differentiated health care. And this is the payday. See, people are dressed up for their payday. This is the English camp. Okay, here's a little bit story about this English camp. So the mine, uh, Elmadam is uh, a Spain, uh, is a mining facility or mining uh, factory or mining company in Spain, Almada. And uh, it means it, it means mining something, and we call it this place New Almadan. It is actually started from the Spain Almadan, and they found good ore in San Jose area, so started the New Almadan. That's uh, the name where it comes from. And and in English camp, there is a, a school, community club, and uh, transportation, and uh, that's uh, the life of that period of time. Oh, this must be the teacher. Good morning, students. Monday. 19 of January 18, 
80 Mrs. C D Mac G no. Two plus three equal to five. <laughs> Certification. And this looks very much Chinese. Chinese culture revolve around the health and prosperity. There are Jiujiang Zhen Yi. Jiujiang is from Jiangxi, is from the place where um, my father during um, during the Cultural Revolution went to the countryside and we went to Jiujiang. I have been to Jiujiang. antiquity now let's continue this is all about uh, this is the cinnabar ah that's the cinnabar making Chinese lacquer ah that's why China had a, a big uh, big uh, um, big import of this cinnabar oil okay now let's take a look this is the very original um original use of uh, of local indigenous people they grind the cinnabar and uh, red is not so much a natural color you see um there are red natural color but uh, finding the red is uh, and make it permanent it's not everything can make it right you can make a flower but it may not stay for forever but this red the color will not change this is why chinese temples imperial palace forbidden city painted red with this cinnabar mineral color and it is used for making chinese painting vermilion also i will talk about the vermilion a little bit later why not now so how do we get this vermilion grinded now we talk about the chinese painting okay the chinese painting we get this cinnabar oil grind it soak in water and then the foot and then the water will become this color right water will get uh, um, uh, dissolved red color the dissolve the red color from the the the, the mine, mine from the ore will get into the water and then the water get it out the very first wash of water dry it it becomes powder right it becomes crack and then grind it into very refined powder P -p put some binding stuff glue you, I say glue, it's those binding stuff um, to make it uh, combine, such as uh, peach uh, gum, peach glue, animal glue, fish glue, uh, bone glue, uh, animal glue, or vegetable glue. Combine them together to make red, right? That's vermilion color. That's the first vermilion. And when we get wash the first, the vermilion, the stone still can be washed, soak another time, it gets second layer of color. So you can get different uh, uh, tone of, uh, of red color. So that's how the uh, Chinese painting was made. Okay, now come back to this painting. This is... Uh, um this is local indigenous people how do they use it they grind it and make into makeup make into body paint face paint 
yeah make into different kind of uh, painting so this is it cinnabar origin and value and this was the working condition and uh, the cinnabar was a very very heavy uh, ore and uh, <clears throat> you can see from this picture the workers climb through, the, through this escalier through this escalera escaleras through this escalier the, 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 the ladders going up with huge bag 200-300 pounds of cinema bone or like this horse the working condition is quite uh, quite tough and how do they get the light they get the light from candles put on the shaft you can see the workers these are the pictures by a previous manager he staged how people work what was the working condition i think he did a great job so the candle on top of his head or candle put here how do people go down the the mine go 2000 under 2000 under so it's actually below the sea level so they went down through um they went down through this little shaft and this is the size of it with no protection no nothing a big hole uh, a rack let's say kind of a rack and uh, for 10 hours they dig the iron and ore and uh, put it into the lift lift it up and 10 hours later they go back and change another shift uh, food meal and anything 10 hours not moving do their business do their things 10 hours go back so i said wow there are people from different kind of uh, origin, race, origin, I feel. Maybe some indigenous, indigenous local native people, maybe some Spanish people. And there are also the Caucasian people. It's that when they are, uh, the mining start to develop and uh, the managers start to recruit uh, workers from UK at that time it's called England maybe from Cornwall Cornwall yeah they, they, they recruit people from from Europe from Cornwall from England come here so this is the working condition absolutely fascinating look I do not need to put any adjective in my in my words you know what how amazed i am here you can do a mathematic furnace foreman 100 dollars per month a teamster four dollar per day and one month how much you make mm -hmm. these are the equipment and this is um, this one is the new production and the very beginning start production start using this kind of big pot the heat the cinnabar roasting the cinnabar and it got heat evaporate silver drop down drop into a bucket of water because silver hg is heavy goes to the bottom and the water later on they pour it out 
and it's quite wasteful because when you pour water, you may end up pour some uh, silver also. Anyway, this is the first very original, uh, very primary style of uh, doing. At the beginning, their ore is very, very rich. Cinnabar is used for making mercury, mercury. and uh, they start to improve. This is the second uh, generation, let's say second generation kind of uh, uh, production. This one is in, must be in English village, that area. Mm -hmm. I am a little bit not so, so, so very clear about it. I have been to that factory, and this is the third generation of doing. And this is, a, a, I don't know which generation, this is another new way of doing it. They drop the ore to the black one, and then the people will push it down. And on the bottom, this guy, I am a little bit confused. Anyway. And this one, <laughs> Beijing Kuangye, this is a Chinese antiquity. So, the, the, because of the greedy of uh, the, the investors, the product, the uh, ore quality start to decline. And uh, so they almost get bankrupt. But in World War II, there was a demand for silver because they use it for making ammo, to make bullet, to make uh, gunpowder or something. So there was a, a, a quick rush and boom. The production facility is more modern. But this is short-lived. Very soon, they were not using it anymore with, uh, with the environmental control, with, uh, with a lot of things happening in the modern world. They start to close. In 1970, uh, Santa Clara County bought this land. When they bought, when they, they entitled this land, when they got this land, it was just like a, a tremendous waste place. It was so exploited and so destroyed. It takes millions of dollars to take care of it. And, uh, so this is a cinnabar. Cinnabar, this is used for Chinese lacquer and can be used for Chinese uh, seal, ink seal, the stamping seal. Hmm? This is roughly as much as I know. I am thinking of coming here another time because uh, the manager here spent the whole afternoon, about two hours with me. Very touching. Okay. Thank you very, very much. I love you. I really do. Oh, this is so beautiful. Do, 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 do. See you next time.